everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have got like, I think I've got two or three really, really, really good things to show you this week. And then I've got some that are kind of disappointing. And then I'm going to just go ahead. I keep saying I'm going to save my skincare, but I just, I can never get to it. It's never... It's one of those videos I don't ever really look forward to doing, so I haven't done it. So I've got a few things I just want to show you, a couple that I think are worth looking into. So the first one is from Denise, my friend that I've made here on YouTube, and I'll put her Instagram down below. And this is the Agave Nectar Ageless Body Oil, Farmhouse Fresh. And I believe these come in some different scents, but I love this. It smells... You could... I've been putting it on not really after the shower like I typically do. I've been putting it on just before I go somewhere just to make my arms look pretty and because it smells so good. I'm not sure. It's like a gourmand type scent. Nourish your skin with a special blend, lightweight agave nectar, a powerful mix of extracts including sandalwood. No wonder. I love anything with sandalwood in it. Barley and amar amuranth's bark significantly improves skin's rate of water loss bringing a radiant hydrated and less wrinkled appearance use immediately after showering for even more dewy softness so i need to start doing that it's 96 percent natural paraben free sulfate free cruelty free all that stuff and i have loved this and now i'm going to put it back towards my shower but really i don't use oils as much oh my hair's caught if I am tanning because when I get out of the shower I put that other tanning lotion that I showed you guys last week so but I've been loving it out here and I will get back into that just as soon as I can get just a little bit of color like I'll go in the sun just to get a little bit of color and then I can kind of you know keep up with it with the tanning and stuff so thank you to Denise, to Denise for that and then this, this is something I have used and I've had to keep bringing back out here to show you. It's the, I was watching a model on YouTube and I need to start writing it down because I always think, oh, I'll just go back through my history. But now that was a couple of weeks ago, if not a month, and I don't know if I'd ever find it. But I was watching a model and she was saying her favorite skincare and, or it was probably favorite products. And um, it was, one of them was this. And it's the Exuviance Vespera Bionic Serum. Diminishes seven signs of skin aging. Clinically proven, revitalized stress skin. Restore radiance by 212%. Lactobionic acid and PHA blend. And it's like this. And when you put it on, it it's kind of a sticky serum. I've actually used it as a makeup base a few times, but then I started you know, using it more at night. But um, if you look at the reviews of this, it is like, I think it's like five stars. And you know how hard that is because people do one star for the dumbest things. Have you ever read some of those reviews? Like you'll go look up something and it's got one star and then you'll go look and they'll give it one star because it was the wrong, like one, the wrong color or that was like with shoes or something or just weird stuff and it ruins their you know rating so if you get five stars that's pretty good it had a bunch a bunch of reviews so i want to start using this more regular regularly and then uh let you know but um so that was something i wanted to show you then colleen rothschild she always sends the coolest little stuff with her you know um new products and this is like a little turban to put your hair back in and then she sent this mask and i believe i saw lisa sc09 say that she loved this and i had never tried it but it's the turmeric and neem oil brightening mask and i have not tried it yet i think brooke did i think she tried it the other night and let's see because i remember saying this is a nice headband yeah i can tell yeah so it Oh gosh, it smells um, not, I can't say Aveda-ish. It just smells like whatever, turmeric, I guess. It has like almost like a spicy um, smell to it. But um, so I'm going to try that and I will let you know what I think. But I have been loving Colleen's products lately. I've been, just this morning, I used the cleansing balm and then that muslin cloth 
to kind of exfoliate because this week I used, I used something that Brooke brought home. Let me go get it so I can show you because it did the job. So hold on. Okay, so she gets, she like I told you, she works at Ulta and she goes to different like little classes, continuing education and education on different brands that they sell. And she brought this home and it's the Kate Somerville Lix, Liquid Exfolicate. I don't know why I can't talk today, but Liquid Exfolicate, triple acid resurfacing treatment. And I told her, I said, ooh, I bet that's good stuff because that exfoliate is no joke. I mean, it works. So you just, it doesn't spray. It comes out like a liquid and you put it like on a cotton pad. And I used it, it says use PM after cleansing, saturate a cotton round and gently apply all over face, neck and decollete, avoiding the eye area. Follow with your usual nightly routine. I did that and then this was probably night before last. And then yesterday, I was doing something that I'll get into in a minute. Everything kind of leads into the other, and that's why sometimes I forget the first thing I was saying. But, so yesterday, I was trying out new primers and a new foundation, and so I was really looking at my face all day, and all of a sudden, I just start started seeing my skin just start peeling away right here, and um, where's my mirror? Here it is. It was like right here and it's still, I don't know if that's the, I think that's the foundation, which I'll get into later. And then it was peeling, all the little crevices of my face were kind of peeling, which is good. You don't want that buildup. So to go along with that, last night I was telling Brooke, I said, look what that stuff did to my chin, you know, and I said, I need something. I said, I don't want to use the exfoliate regular stuff because I didn't want to burn my skin. I didn't want to in the process of taking off that skin, do something too much. So she had this, and it's Derma E Essentials Microdermabrasion Scrub. And this worked so good. It reminded me one of one I tried a long time ago. Oh, it smells just like that one that I loved from Derm Store that I told you guys about, that it's kind of, it was kind of like an exfoliator and cleanser in one and this made me remember that and I am going to order that today because this reminded me of how much I miss that product but it's kind of like a lemony smell and it's very very fine I mean it's see it's almost like icing or something and the little granules are just extremely fine and so I used this all over it says to like massage for a minute and um it just, it did great. Another one that would be good is the enzyme scrub from Colleen, but I was just scared. I didn't want to like burn my skin, especially before I did my video today. So that is two good things I think are worth trying out. If you're trying to get into exfoliating a little bit more, you want your skin to be fresh. You can already tell this is going to be a long one because I have it's like I'm excited. I have so much stuff to say. Someone told me to just calm down, take a breath, that you guys would be here. And I was like, I know, I need to do that. It's like, I enjoy what I'm talking about so much. I need to spend more time instead of trying to go to the next thing. So what I was working on yesterday, and I really halfway thought I might do that cute little check-in during the day and all that stuff, but my skin looked so bad, I thought it wouldn't even be fair to represent the product that I had on that way. But it did, I was able to, you know, watch it myself and I had Brooke help me a couple times during the day to see which side looked better. And it all started with this. And if you've looked down below in my, what I'm wearing, I have been trying this skincare item and primer for the last gosh, I guess probably the last week. And I'm telling you, I still have some in here. And if I knew someone I could get a sample from, I would be getting some more. But it is the Sisley Double Tensor Instant and Long Term. It's like a primer and a skincare in one. Lifting skincare with botanical extracts, which effectively both Im immediately and in long term, which is effective both immediately and in long term. Apply over your daily skincare or touch up during the day. And I have heard of this, but it's $190, I think, $192 or something. So I never really gave it much thought because I just thought, give me a break. What could it do, you know? 
But I know Jeffree Star likes this. I know Tati likes this. I think um, Flower Bomb, Natty, I've heard her talk about it. So I got a sample, I think with these jeans that I have on, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I got a sample and I thought, yay! I can't wait to try it and I have been so impressed I mean it's one of those products that you don't really want to like because it's so expensive so I've been trying to really 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 make sure that I like it before I buy it and definitely before I tell you what I think of it so I tr I've tried to pay attention to what is it that I like about it and I've even gone back and watched reviews to see if I felt the same way they do and one of the main things that I like about it is it leaves your skin kind of um, firm feeling and a, just a little bit, not really tacky, but you can tell that whatever you put on is kind of like adhering to it. And it just kind of, I don't know, just looks good. It just looks good. And so I was thinking another thing that makes me feel that way is this, which is the Cover FX Gripping Primer, Gripping and Firming Primer. So yesterday I put this on, let me pull you in. Okay. So I hope that that is focusing. I've got my camera a little further back so I can't see the screen that good. Um, but so yesterday I put this on this side and then I put this on this side and I watched it all day to see what I thought. Both sides looked good all day, but Brooke and I both thought that my blush stayed more vibrant on this side with this, and this side got less oily. But this was still really good, and I kind of did a twofer because I tried this again. They had come out with a new shade. Now, they probably came out with a long time ago, but I just noticed it. It's the neutral medium. And it's the it, it's something that everybody likes so much. And I have tried before, I've tried it twice. And I love it when I put it on, it's beautiful. I think it's just fabulous for the summer because it's SPF, SPF 50. But it always just slides right off my face. I mean, just, Within half a day, it's like gone right here. So I thought, what better way to try this than with those two? So that's what I tried yesterday. And this stayed on all day. I was so excited because I really do like this. And I know a lot of people mix this with their, you know, other foundations. It's just, you know, it's like one of the best sellers at Ulta. So I tried that yesterday. Today, I put, again, this on this side and the expensive on this side. So I don't think I've had it on long enough for you guys to be able to tell anything. Let me see if I can. Um, let's see, nope, I think it looks about the same, which is still a good, you know, something good to say for that. So today I tried something else new that I bought the other day. I walked in and they had the new um, Confidence in a Foundation. I opened it upside down because the other one was taped and I was being lazy and trying to be fast. But it is the Confidence in a Foundation, all day confidence, long wear, weightless, full coverage, velvet matte finish. And the color I got is Tan Golden W. And it was probably a little too W for me, but it's my own fault because they had testers out there and I tried to pick the one that matched. I put it on my chin that day and it seemed to match. But um, so the color I can work with, but okay, let me stop there and say, I also got the Heavenly Skin Skin Hugging Foundation Brush number 707. Now this is something here. Here's the brush, it's dirty because I used it this morning. Groundbreaking anti-aging skin care infused brush hair. So this brush is supposed to be infused with, um, supposed to give you a flawless look and then infused with anti-aging collagen, silk, peptides, niacin, and antioxidants. Improves the look of skin, optically blurs the appearance of lines, pores, and imperfections. Okay, I did not have a good experience this morning with this foundation or this brush, but it was my first time using it, and 
I read the directions on the back and it said use, somehow it says, um, is your long wearing flawless velvet mat, da da da, da. Um, directions. Using favorite IT Cosmetics brush, buff one to two pumps of foundation onto clean skin in circular motions for your most flawless looking finish. Okay, I did two pumps because a lot of times I see everyone else use two pumps. So a lot of times I think maybe I'm not giving foundation a good enough chance. Maybe I'm not using enough to see the full coverage or whatever. So I did two, two pumps on my hand and then I kind of, you know, did it around my face like this. And then I went in with this brush and it is so soft. It's not very firm. See how it's like, you know, it's not like a buffing brush. It's very like brushy. And so I was trying to, that's why you see it like all in here. I was really trying to buff it like in, like they said, and it was just thick, thick, thick. It was so thick. And maybe because I'm having, I have this gripping primer and that other that's kind of gripping. I don't know, but I don't know if you can see it is very, cakey looking. It's um, just not as pretty as the other foundations that I've been using, but I'm going to, um, maybe I'll do another video for sure this weekend and I will try it again, you know, using maybe another brush, using one pump, you know, I'll wash this out and we'll see how it goes. So, um, so far not impressed, but I will try at least one or two more times before I give you my final thoughts because I mean, I, I really thought I was gonna like it. I would, probably wouldn't have used it today if I didn't think I was gonna like it. But this, love. So if you're my color, this color was beautiful. And um, it is the neutral medium. Okay, then I wanted to tell you these brushes are just gorgeous brushes. And really in the whole scheme of really nice you know, expensive, nice brushes. This set is not that expensive and it's back in stock. I just saw, I got an email from Beautylish and um, I always love ordering stuff from Beautylish because they ship fast and they have that little, they text you, you know, when it's coming and that you got your order and stuff. I don't know, I think that's good. But um, Beautylish did send me these to review and I love them. I'm just, I was gonna get them anyway and they were always out. So I'm very thankful. And I did my whole eye look today with this brush. It's the, um, the Worker Pro. And it just, I, there's something about the way it's kind of squished like that and you can get kind of like a point. It's just a good brush. It is just, you can tell it's like a step above. You could really get, just do all kinds of stuff with this brush. So I wanted to tell you how much I like those. I've got one other flop over here I wanna tell you about. But um, the next thing I wanted to show you is this collection from MAC. And I think I'm just feeling kind of like, I don't know, I'm falling back in love with MAC a little bit, more than I ever have in the couple, last couple years. But um, you'll have to, if I can, I'll find it and I'll put it either, I'll put, probably put a link up here to one of my first videos was the MAC Hello Kitty collection. I just, you know, I don't know, it brings me back to all the different collections that came out before everyone was putting out so much. And you know, we used to look forward to these collections and then get so excited and be there first thing in the morning or whatever. Well, this collection grabbed my eye because it was so pretty. It's the Cherry Blossom. I think it might even be called the Cherry Blossom Collection. I'm not sure, but look how pretty the packaging is. It's called Kabuki Doll, and it has these shades, which I used today. I actually just used that whole middle row, and then I used a little bit of this color on my lid, and I like it. I think it blended out really pretty, and it's a pretty look. It's not my favorite. You know, I go towards more of the cool tone, colors, but this was kind of like a good in-between. It actually was like a cherry, like cherry brown colors. And so that is what I used today. I didn't use a lot. I used, like I said, all the mattes on the center and then that one color on my lid. And um, I didn't use liner today and I'm, I know I'm going to regret it, but I used that darkest color down here just with an angled brush and did my liner. So but I just think it's so pretty and it was one of those things. I just wanted to get some stuff from the collection. This is probably 
there's two things. This and the other thing are probably my favorites. This is, there were, I think, four lipsticks. I didn't get any of those. And then there were probably four lip glosses. And this is the one I got because I thought it was probably the most different from what I have. And it's what I have on now. And it's called Heart Melter Lip Glass. And I've actually worn this probably three times now, but it is so hurty. It's so creamy, so pretty. It's a little bit different than what I've been wearing. And now my lips are gonna look huge because it's kind of like spilling over. Let me go blot this just a little bit. And then if you just wanted one thing from the collection, I think this would probably be my favorite thing. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, and it's in this cherry blossom. Not only is it the special bottle, but it's the um, scent, the cherry blossom scent. And I always go back to, oh gosh, it's like a real soft floral, but not in a sick way, like a sickening sweet way. I hate to spray my makeup right now. I don't know what it'll do. Oh, that just smells so good. And I have noticed that the scented Fix Pluses, you do kind of smell them for a little while. Because the other day I've been using, I believe I've been using the lavender one and I smelled it the other day and it's a good thing. It's one of those things that like when I smell it, I feel kind of dressed up. I don't know, it's just a, a good feeling. And so I did grab that because I thought it was so pretty and I knew I would use it. I always go back to Fix Plus. You know, I like other things, but that is my true favorite setting spray. Okay, and then I had one thing that was a big bomb, and I just got this yesterday. I had never seen it before, but it's a Sally Hansen Illuminator um, Airbrush Legs. There was a bronzy one, and then this one, and this is Nude Glow Highlighter, and it's literally just a roll-on messy mess. It, um, the, they said you're supposed to just roll it down the center of your legs, and um, it's supposed to highlight, but it comes out like kind of not even, and then it just doesn't leave much, and it just has no coverage or anything. I don't think it's supposed to, but it just isn't that pretty, and I just think it's just not worth it. It was like $10, I think, so I got it at CVS. Lightweight illuminator gives legs a natural looking radiant glow. Roller ball glides on smoothly and gives a cooling sensation. I will say that. Can be applied to collarbones, shoulders, decollete. I just don't think you can beat the regular Sally Hansen leg spray. And if you really want a good illumination, that Laura Geller body bronzer is just the best I've ever tried. And then like today, I wanted to put just a little something on to give like a little bit, just make my decollete pretty and everything. And I used the Vita Labrata um, body glow or body bling. I'll link it down below. That I love and I've used almost, I was like almost out of it. So that is one of my favorites. So I think that's it for today. I did get a new pair of shoes that I just can wholeheartedly say every single one of you needs these pair of shoes. And you might not like them as much as I do because they might be kind of nostalgic for me, but I saw these in the Free People catalog. I'm gonna take them off, I've had them on all day. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to order these. So. I did, and I, when I got them yesterday, I was just sit, I sat them out here, and just every time I looked over at them, they made me happy, <laughs> and that's silly, but it is these rainbow flip-flops, and they're not only rainbow, but they're the actual brand name rainbow, and I know, this is what I was thinking is, I know it's probably a coastal, beachy thing, like when I grew up, you had to have a pair of rainbow flip-flops, and I've had, I don't even know how many pair. And so that was a big thing. And you know how when we were little, I think it's like 70s, this was kind of in style. And then you know I already like a platform kind of high heel flip flop to wear with, you know, just little t-shirt and tank dresses. So I ordered these and I got them in the size, I think it's large. It's, it was whatever it said an eight was. Um, says these are 38, okay, yeah, lady size large, which is seven and a half to eight and a half, and they're perfect. 
and they are just fabulous. I cannot wait to wear these with my little black dresses. I'm wearing them today with my jeans and they're just gonna be, I'm gonna wear them a lot, just like I have my Roxy. Are they Roxy or Reef? I think Roxy flip-flops. So, um, and I've got the same jeans on that I showed you last week, these Good American jeans. Nothing compares. No other pair of jeans that I put on feel like these jeans. They are the most comfortable jeans I think I have ever worn. More comfortable than leggings. And I just think that even if you don't get this style, you need to get a pair. And I want to get the long Bermudas that they have and wear them with like wedges and a cool like flowy shirt or, you know, a tank top or something. I think those are going to be cool. But um, so I'll show you this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided just to bring you in here and show you and maybe be able to show you a little bit better. But aren't they cute? I love them. And see how these jeans are just like the perfect, like come up, just the perfect, you know, amount of high waist for me. They are just soft as they can be. And then this bodysuit is from Pretty Little Thing. It's um, one of those, I always like the bodysuits that go straight across. And I actually tried to just keep my bralette on under it and it was just too bulky. There just wasn't enough room, so I figured, I will and um, I just love like this casual outfit and it just is you know looks good but it's very comfortable and I just think you would like everything I have on and let's see if you can see the shoes so hey okay, and then for accessories I just have on I felt like this was a hoop outfit so I just have on my favorite hoops from Sheila Fajal have on just the stacking rings from Dean Davidson and um, the necklace that I have had on and actually I talked to Kelly and you can get more of these. I have, have you noticed I haven't been to Oliver in forever? Will gets out of school an hour earlier this year and since I'm doing more videos and trying to work more during the day, I just do not have the time that I used to have to just stop by there. So I need to stop by and plus Kelly had a baby so she's not there as much anymore. So anyway, but I'm trying to stop by there either today or tomorrow. So kind of look forward to that. I'll probably get something while I'm in there. Um, I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will be back and I'll see you then. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. <laughs> I had to say that. See you then. Bye-bye. Now. Crazy girl. Hey. Are you playing? Are you playing?